Robotics is a new science that will affect uh, in many ways our lives in the future. But uh, the people that most uh, of all will uh, leave this uh, robotics uh, invasion is the, the young people that today are at school. In this scenario, those who will be actors, not just spectators of this robotics revolution, are young people. In some 10, 20, 30 years, uh, they will live in a world where they will be probably not just uh, designers or uh, sellers or uh, technicians of robots, but by sure they will be consumers of robots. They will have to live in a society populated by robots that will perform many different tasks from cleaning uh, to, to assisting people uh, in, in many fields. This means that uh, their lives will depend on the robots in the same way that our lives depend on cars or on cellular phones and so on. That's why it's so important the education of young people to robotics. It's important to, to show them that they can be owner of their future not just a slave of this technology that is running by itself in some direction they cannot control. If they, they understand that they can, they can modify the way in which robots are built, they can be active in the, in the robotic field, not, not just be beginning, becoming engineers, but also trying to influence the development of robotics, Probably the society will be prepared to the, to the issues that this robotics invasion will create. That's why I founded an association in Italy that is called Scuola di Robotica, School of Robotics. There is a no-profit organization that uh, go to schools and help uh, teachers to, to show robots to children, uh, to boys and girls, uh, trying to, to, to make them uh, happy with robots, using robots to, to, to teach mathematics, physics, biology. Not, it's not important. We are not trying to, to build everybody as a robotic engineer. Our goal is uh, to make young people understand that uh, robots are arriving, robots are coming, and that they have to be, be careful using robots. And in my opinion, knowledge is, uh, is the key point for freedom. That, that's why education is so important. Of course, it's not important just the education of young people. Also, the people at large should understand what's uh, going on in this uh, field because uh, what will happen in some 20 years depends on the sh decisions that are taken today. And so it's important also an effort for the popularization of robotics. And this is a responsibility that is on, on robotic scientists because nobody knows robotics better than robotic scientists. So if you speak about robotics with lawyers or uh, sociologists or uh, psychologists, probably they know about robotics more from science fiction than from science and technology. That's why it's important to, 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 to teach, to, to convince people that robotics is not uh, the one they see in uh, science fiction movies, but uh, it, it is in the dishwasher, it is in the car, it is in the train, in the transportation system, it is in the hospital. And m make clear that uh, ro all the robots uh, will be connected uh, in, through the networks in the same way that uh, all the portable phone uh, are connected. So probably we will see a scenario with 
hardware platforms, running uh, common operating systems where the consumer can buy a basic version of the robot and then they will be able to download, uh, to, to buy apps uh, in the same way we now buy, buy apps from the uh, App Store or, or Play Market <laughs> to make the robot uh, perform uh, in the way we prefer. So I will buy a personal robot and uh, probably I, I will use uh, at office making some uh, activity uh, in the secretariat field. But the same robot could be mm, bought by you to help you in uh, domestic activities. The, all of these robots will be connected. This, this is a very crucial point because these open robots to the possibility of being being affected by viruses, by trojans, by to be controlled by hackers, uh, to 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 um, to create a lot of problems to the privacy and also to the safety and security of uh, people. It's important that uh, such uh, a crucial point uh, should be well known by people. To, to, to avoid that, that technology just run faster without any kind of uh, reflection on, on the, the problems uh, that could uh, create the society. And without, uh, we, we try to, to create uh, our new regulations that are capable to control this point. A any technological uh, item today has uh, to be controlled by an uh, independent uh, authority to, to verify that, that it is compliant with some uh, international standard. Uh, the same uh, should be for robots, but the problem is that it's much more easy to set uh, standards uh, for traditional uh, machines than uh, creating standards for robots because uh, robots uh, are very complex. Uh, what is the difference between a robot and a normal machine? It is the intelligence. This means that uh, there is uh, a very complex artificial intelligence system in the robots that is not, not easy to, to test, to measure, to, to be sure that uh, it will be able to face any different uh, situation the robot will face uh, in its daily activity. This means that uh, we, we need to start early, now, today, to, to m create uh, this uh, consciousness in the society, because I it's the society that can uh, convince the politicians, for instance, or the stakeholders to take care of uh, these, uh, these uh, concerns and um, avoid that, that development of robotics uh, is uh, controlled and driven just by the corporation, the economical interests uh, of the global market, by the politicians, by the, the, um, the military people, because <coughs> all of them are good until they make a mistake. So the, the only way to avoid uh, big mistakes is uh, to, to share among the, the people at large uh, the, 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 the control over this uh, development.